Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. This is books and this is a human. Human reads books, so I'll be reading books. So I've been watching a lot of videos where it's swapping my phone screen time for reading. And so I was like, I should do that. And I think it's a very good idea for me to do that because I was going through my phone. And let me just tell you something. Uh, okay, I've got into my phone to see the, like the weekly average. Um, it doesn't show me anymore. It showed me once. I don't know how to get it back. Oh, here. Yeah, daily average screen time. It says five hours and 20 minutes. So I used TikTok for 19 hours and 33 minutes. The second most used app was Pinterest and then it was Maps. I've already used my phone today for three hours and 57 minutes. So I feel like I should be doing this because I had like a whole month of being in a slump. It was really bad. I think I finished one book within that month. Um, there's reasons why I've only uploaded two videos about books <laughs> because I have problems with buying books and not actually reading books. So Monday last week I used my phone for two hours and 49 minutes. That is not that bad. Um, my most used app was Maps. It was one hour and 50 minutes that I used, that used the most. I don't know what I was doing Monday. Bit weird what I was using it for. Um, and then next was Instagram for 17 minutes and then TikTok for 14 minutes. So I'm going to read Love Theoretically. I've already read half of it. I don't know if you can see. I'm most likely not gonna finish it within the two hours and 45, 49 minutes because I am an extremely slow reader. I don't know how those other YouTubers, I watch, I think there's this one girl that can read a whole book worth like 400 something pages within three hours or four hours. And I'm like, that doesn't seem possible. I have to go word by word. And then sometimes I have to reread that because I just didn't process it. All right, I'll now continue reading it. Ready to start. <laughs> Lock up the window, push your leg down on the brakes, wait for a second, let me count every freckle on your face. On your face. This time will pass like sand through an hourglass. Now I only watch you from the overpass Two hours and 49 minutes are up. I have that much left. I read like 70, 78 pages within the uh, two and two hours and 49 minutes. My eyes are hurting. I haven't eaten barely anything today. So I'm going to eat. I have a splitting headache. So maybe that's one of the reasons why did not read much because I just felt this huge pain and it's still there. I need to eat something probably or drink water. I don't know. Um, I'm loving this book thus far. It's really good. Um, I'm up to page 270. That's the update I have for you. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. It is Tuesday now. It is currently 2.07. Um, so Tuesday I did use my phone for 3 hours and 22 minutes. The most used app was TikTok. 
2 hours and 10 minutes as Instagram which I spent 23 minutes and on Pinterest 12 minutes. Anyway. Never enough time to survey the lines on your face. The lines that make up your face. Kiss my reflection. to go eat I decided well I don't want to eat just like that I want to watch something so I was watching YouTube then I got sidetracked and applied for a course I don't know I just applied for a course so now I'm enrolled in a course which I do start in six days so yeah then I also got more sidetracked and then ended up watching edits of Killian Murphy. So it is Wednesday. I did finish Love Theoretically yesterday. I liked it. I loved it. I didn't love it enough to give it 5 star. It was 4.5 star. Reason why I did not give it 5 star is just my personal opinion and taste is that <laughs> when they get intimate, the smut scenes, um, it went on for too long. It was like four chapters or so. And I was like, okay, give me some story and not just tell me how they're doing it. Um, anyway, it's a pretty good book, liked it. Just some things I did not like because there's there is a little smidge of miscommunication, but like it doesn't really it doesn't really affect it that much. It's kind of rushed at the end. Not gonna say too much, but yeah, to me it was kind of rushed that part. So yes, I gave it a four point five star. So enough of that review. We are going to go look at the time that I spent on my phone last Wednesday. I spent a whopping 8 hours and 36 minutes on my phone. Get this, I spent on Pinterest 4 hours and 36 minutes, TikTok 2 hours and 53 minutes, and then Maps again was the third uh, with 29 minutes. I travelled somewhere, I don't know where I, I travelled, but I managed to spend all that time on Pinterest and TikTok. I want to finish a book in that time and then start another one. But me, knowing me, it took me those two other days to finish like a little bit more than a half of this book. I did pick up this book. Well, no, I didn't pick up this book. Well, technically I did because my hands grabbed it and picked it up. But I did not start reading it. It's uh, Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marsden. He is a great Australian author. I'm going to start this. It's a whole series. It's got like seven books or something in it. So I'm sure I would be able to read this within six hours. Knowing me, probably no, not. Um, Remus, get down. Remus, 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 Remus. Do you know who is rap game? So rap game. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that smart.
Okay, so I'm at my brother's and sister's, well, sister-in-law's house. Um, but I have company from their dog. Um, that's Ponchik. So I was just about to read. I forgot to tell you that I did go to sleep last night. Because, well, I didn't want to get like three hours of sleep. I ended up getting like five. I do have two hours and 14 minutes remaining. Let me get into it. So I have that much time left and then so I have to add on to that time last week on Thursday I did six hours and 41 minutes TikTok was the most used app that day with two hours and 57 minutes and then maps with one hour and nine minutes don't know where I was going again YouTube with 49 minutes I don't remember using YouTube. So I have to do six hours and 41 minutes on top of the two hours and 14 minutes that I have left. If I'm not done with this book by then, I don't know what's wrong with my reading pace. Just give me time I'll sober up Just give me time I'll sober up Just give me time I'll sober up In good time I did not finish my book I'm actually like mind boggled that it, it's taken me more than eight and a half hours to read this and I'm not even done. What is going on? Anyway, so I'm back home, just got home. I got a little Gloria jeans. Um, anyway, let me just tell you the most disgusting, toe curling, vomit worthy story ever. So. I didn't tell you before because I was still mortified and still trying to process it. Anyway, my lovely bed over here. This one. Yes. I was relaxing in it, about to go to bed. Just thinking of it is hurting because I was lying down and then I felt something drop on me. And I'm like, like that. Like I flick it off. I'm like, what the fuck is that? When I tell you I'm shocked I didn't scream, I look down. Because I, I was laying on that side, right there. The thing that was on me landed there. And the thing was a fat ass maggot. It just fell on me. I was like, I stood there, like not stood, but like laid there and I was like looking at it. I was stunned. I was shocked. I was mortified. I was violated by this maggot. And I look at it for like a minute or so. I'm just paused. And I'm muttering under my breath. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? And then I start rising up slowly. I jump out of my bed. Because I've processed that there is a maggot on my bed. So like I get this, my little bookmark. I violated my bookmark for this. To like trying to get it on. And I, I chuck it in my bin. That's there. I didn't want to squish it or anything because that was disgusting. I don't want to do that. So I shoved it in this takeaway bag and wrapped it up and it's still in my bin. I don't want to touch it. I lie down and I'm like, no, nah, I don't feel comfortable with this. Where did this come from? So I figured it came from my air vent. Well, let me show you. So I figured it came from there. I used delivery packaging bag or whatever. I ripped that apart. I got some tape that was on the bag already and then put that on there. That's not the end of the story. No, no, no. I wish it was. I wish the story never happened. But I go to sleep. 
I wake up from my slumber, roll over to get my phone that's on that side, because I sleep on that side, and I put my phone there so the alarm can go off so I can um, wake up. So I reach over, get my phone, <laughs> take the covers off me, and my, mind you, mind you, I did a thorough search of my bed last night, shaking everything, I shaked myself off, everything. I take off the covers, and there's another fat ass maggot right near my pillow, just like wiggling away. I'm like, <laughs> when I tell you, I almost cried. I was trembling, it was awful. I ended up getting some sort of other paper and just picking it up and throwing it in that exact same bin, but I suffocated it with um, a plastic bag. I am still shaken up. I want to burn down my bloody room. It, awful. Where did they come from? I covered that up. Oh, I'm telling him the maggot story. Ew. It's yeah. secure enough. Look at it. Well, it is. There's a hole in it. Why? Hey, future me, he passed me. Forgot to mention that the maggot did chew through the plastic bag. Um. That's why you did sleep with me that night. Disgusting. Um, will not wish that upon anyone besides my worst enemy. That person can have it. I don't want it. Anyway, um, I finished uh, Tomorrow When the War Began. It was four star. It would have been like three if it wasn't an Australian classic, but I have to stick by my Australian people. Um, it was pretty good. No, I'm joking. It just, I hated the main character. Moving on to this, gonna read this now, but let me tell you a quick story about the maggot situation. So my dad comes into my room and he's like, what's that the bag thing that I showed you, remember? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I, I, I go, I, I'm about to tell him and then he looks at my sister and he's like, is that the thing that you, oh no. Yeah, he looks at you and he's like, and he's like, is that the thing, uh, is that the maggot thing? And I'm like, how do you know about that? Did you tell him? Yeah, something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. And then he goes, yeah, how, where did that come from? And I'm like, I tell him that it came from there. And he's like, what? And he's going, oh, he gasps. And I'm like, what? Tell me, please, share. And he goes, um, he, the, he goes, he goes, oh, I know why. I'm like, please, tell me. He's like, there's a dead bird on the roof. And I'm like, oh, what? So yeah. There's been a dead bird in the roof, and I'm like, oh, like, oh, on the roof or whatever, in the roof, on the roof, whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, what? And he's like, yeah, it's been there for ages. I'm like, what? Yeah, so it turns out dead bird on roof flies come to eat and then give birth. And then they crawl down to my little air vent and crawl on me during the night. Anyway. That was the update for the maggot situation. Now I have that much time, four hours and 47 minutes. Yeah, I did not love the Spanish love deception, so I hope I like this more, but I, I doubt it. Oh my God, the smart scenes. If she says anything, <laughs> my sister likes the Spanish love deception and she told me to read it. Um, and then when I shat on it, she hated me for it. And then whenever I say anything negative about it, she kind of just pulls a face and mocks me when I talk. <laughs> She's staring at me like she wants to kill me right now. So I hope the, the smart scenes are not like the Spanish love deception where he says unspeakable things. If a man said that to me, I will call the police for harassment. I'm sorry, that is disgusting. What was one of the things that he said to her? Yeah, I want you to milk me or something like that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Anyway, it's time to read. So I made the ultimate mistake of um, combing my hair. So now I have to put it up and I look look like a sea turtle or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> I completed six hours and 40 something minutes yesterday. So I, I finished the time. I went to bed at 5 a.m. I thought I was seeing stuff because I was that tired. Um, I didn't get much through the book. I got like up to page uh, 129 and I think it was like 30 some 
39% done. Okay, so today I have to complete seven hours and two minutes. Lock up the window, push your leg down on the brakes. Wait for a second, let me count every freckle on your face. This time will pass Like sand through an hourglass Now I only watch you from Don't mind the dirty clothes basket. I had to sit on my floor in the corner of my room because I didn't like any of the other sections in my room. So anyway, going back to it's been two months. Um, the American roommate experiment did me. Like it, it I was in such a slump I didn't even want to record the ending of this video but let's just retrack our steps to the first book I read which was um, Love Theoretically. To recap pretty much from what I remember is that I liked it but there was like almost four chapters worth of intense smut scenes that I did not want um, instead of an actual storyline. I think I'm gonna rate it four stars instead of 4.5. I'm just rethinking this whole thing and I just I remember that it wasn't the best um, and I did have that complaint and that the other complaint was that she kept mentioning that he was blonde <laughs> and I wanted to forget that he was blonde so other than that, I liked it. Um, oh, and yeah, no, that's it. I liked it. Um, but if you want to have a little read of this yourself and you want me to give you a little summary or a little, you know, blurb of what it's about, don't ask me. <laughs> All I remember is that she is dating his brother and that she is going for this job. Turns out he is one of the professors at the job that she wants to go to. Well, she doesn't like him. She thinks he doesn't like her, you know, the, the usual. When she finds out that he is there, he's one of the professors that has to vote her in, she's like determined to think that he is gonna vote no on her and vote his friend in instead. Um, yeah, also his friend is up against her. But yeah, it's a good book. I, I'd say give it a read. Next was Tomorrow When the War Began. Okay, so I despised the main character and I did leave a Goodreads review. Let me just get that review up because I don't remember what exactly I said in it, but I did say stuff. This is what I said about this book. I would have given it a five star rating, but the main character, Ali, annoyed me so much. She was judgmental, cared mostly about herself, wasn't a very nice friend, and was peer pressuring her friends to do stuff they didn't want to do. Around the end, when the group were coming up with ideas to help their families, Faye voiced, one of the characters, Faye, voiced that she wasn't comfortable with doing it and felt like she was forced to go because everyone else was going and that she was scared and wasn't sure she'll be able to help out of fear that she might just stand there and scream. A valid reason. As friends, you would think that they would comfort her and maybe help her be more confident. Or better yet, tell her she doesn't need to do it and that it was okay to be scared. But no, they didn't. They decided that they would tease her and pretty much tell her that she was, of course, the only one that feels that way and that the rest of them don't know the word fear. Sure. Also, they fight all the time. Mostly Ali's fault. Literally, she picks a fight with literally everyone in the book. It's so annoying. She gave off pick me vibes as well. So the pick me vibes was that 
she always mentioned that she was the only one that could drive and that she was like a farm girl and she would always compare herself with this Faye girl. Faye was like, she was a city girl compared to them. Well, she used to compare herself with Faye and say that like everything she does is graceful and that she can never be like that because she's like just too much of on the farm and like she was brought up to like herd sheep and to like drive tractors since she could walk like okay and then she would like look at Faye and she's like how does she do it like I could never I'm like okay good for you anyways and then to finish my review I said I'm pretty sure that they think that they are some sort of superheroes or something. I hope in the next books they have a bit of a character development and aren't such naive kids. Literally, okay, they had this hero complex. They tried to <laughs> think that they were like the government or the army or something and thought that seven teenagers could, you know, go and save the whole of Australia <laughs> from an invasion. I don't know where that logic came from. Now this, it put me in a two month reading slump. And when I say a reading slump, I did not pick up a singular book after I read this book. Because this book destroyed me. Not in a good way. In a really, really bad way. Like, it made me <laughs> rethink why I read. But I did finish it within the time that I needed to finish it. I had four hours something remaining when I stopped recording because I literally just didn't want to record myself whilst reading this because I was just having a really bad time. Just some some things that happened in the book was like I just don't want to do this anymore. Like for instance she's just so embarrassing. Let me get up the quote that he says in this book that just made me... I instantly put down the book to message my sister and complain instantly. I can't say it. I'm going to F you silly with my finger. <laughs> There's more complaints about this book, but I'm just not gonna shit on it that much. If you do wanna read it, I suggest not. I don't remember it. I was gouging my eyes out when I was trying to read this, so. This is me two months later, and this is the three books I read within swapping my screen time for reading time. I don't, I don't remember, but it was like 31 hours or something of reading. 